What's going on, Boston Celtics fans? It's been a while since I've given an update on how the sale of the Boston Celtics is going. Well, that's because there was no update. But then Wick Grusbeck came out. He wanted to address to the media after the Boston Celtics went to the White House over the weekend to celebrate their 18th franchise championship. Thank goodness. But Wick did talk to some media saying, you know what? Here's the latest I have on the sale of our team. And I want to let you guys know. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm your host, Allie Barefoot. Let's just go on ahead and jump into it real quick. So if you guys want the latest news and rumors on your Boston Celtics, well, then this is the channel for you. If you guys haven't already, go on ahead and do one thing for me and hit that sub button. We have over 40,000 beautiful, loyal, great subscribers here that get this content for free. I'm just living my dream fan to fan talking to you guys. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that sub button. That's how we keep our lights on. And that's how you guys get your latest information. All right, let's go ahead and jump into what Wick Rusbeck had to say. It's underway. There's a lot of interest. That is one comment, I guess. I would like to limit it to that. But I would say that the plan is that I will stay in charge for three more years. That's what's laid out. We'll go from there. Having said that, I think I'd rather just talk about this team that we have in front of us, with us right now, that has the capacity to contend again. I think we're contenders this year, and we can be contenders in the future, and that's what I'm most excited about. Number one, Rick. Wick, he's just a, he's just a team first guy ahead of a businessman, right? He, he was just a guy from Boston, a Boston fan, that ended up taking over this franchise, which I'm sure is a lot of little kids' dreams out there. But the important piece of what Wick just said right there was that he will be in charge for the next three years. So we know that there is a lingering, hefty salary weighing over the Boston Celtics as a franchise right now. You have the two highest-paid players in the NBA on the same team. You just extended Drew Holiday. You just extended Derek White. You have yet to extend Porzingis. You have yet to extend Al Horford. You just extended Hauser and Pritchard. I mean, the list goes on and on. And while that is well above my pay grade, I know that if Wick is in charge, at least for the next three years, we can somewhat keep this roster together and potentially even knock off some costs just because I have seen him do it before and because I know he knows a lot more than I do about this business. So I'm just here to talk about the team in general. But there's another piece to mention here is that Wick does want 51% of his shares gone by early next year. That was always in the plan, was that he wasn't going to sell the team entirely. He was just sh selling majority shares to whoever the next owner of the Celtics is going to be. Obviously, there was a bit of a falling out that led to this sell of the franchise. So it's been a long time coming, but, you know, in November right now, I still see no complete intended new owner for the Celtics just yet. So it looks like we're on the track to him maybe selling his shares between January and April of next year. But I do also want to point on what Wick did say that I do think it is super important here is that, number one, don't distract the team. The team has enough going on to try to win back-to-back. -back. They've got the biggest target in the NBA right in between their eyes, as Joe Mazzulla would say it. So as long as this doesn't distract the team, and I think Wick Grusbeck is the perfect guy for this position because, like he just said, I'm not even going to disclose too much. I'm just going to say one comment. I'll tell you that there are potential buyers. But then he wanted to turn back to the team that was celebrating their championship, saying, this is the team I want to focus on. That's all in the future. We're going to handle it in the future. But because these, these men have the opportunity to go back-to-back -back the first time that's happened since 2017, that's the storyline here. And that's why you got to love somebody like Wick, who just always puts the team first. And I really don't think Wick would be the type of owner to ever sell a team away to somebody that he wouldn't want at his dinner table. That's just how I see him. You guys may see him different. But the other question here is, can they go back-to-back? -back? There is a lot riding on this season, whether or not we're going to be able to keep all these players in the team next year. Because if you're winning, it pays off. If you're not winning, then you're paying a lot of money for a team that's coming in second in the NBA Finals or a team that's not making it out of the Eastern Conference Finals, which we don't want to think about that. So if you guys think the Boston Celtics can go back-to-back, -back, go on ahead and spam 19 in the comment section down below. Obviously, that does mean the banner 19 as we just recently hung Banner 18 up in the rafters.
All right, let me tell you guys real quick about our sponsor here on Celtics Today by Chat Sports. And of course, I'm talking about Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in America, the one that I'm playing every single day. I know you guys have heard it before, but at this point, you should be playing Prize Picks. And if you're not, well, then let me tell you why you should be. It's super easy. All you guys have to do is just pick more or less on a player's projected stats, and you can win up to 100 times your money with as little as four correct picks. Not to mention, it's the only real money daily fantasy platform with an injury insurance policy. So your lineup stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. If your player leaves in the first half and doesn't return, Prize Picks keeps your lineup live. I mean, talk about an app. That's looking out for you, my guys. And they do put their members first. All withdrawals are fast, safe, and secure. And when my pick hits, I can get my money in as quick as $15. So if you guys are sitting here saying, Allie, this sounds great. How do I play? That's the easy part, right? All you have to do is just pick more or less on a player's projected stats, and you can win up to 100 times your money. That's it. Minimum two players, maximum six players, and you can mix and match professional and collegiate sports. You can mix and match teams. It doesn't all have to be on the same team. So if you guys want to go on ahead and get started today, all you guys have to do is download the Prize Picks app. Use promo code CLNS. This will get you $50 instantly. When you win your first, excuse me, when you play your first $5 lineup, it's guaranteed. You don't even have to win. All you have to do is download the Prize Picks app, use promo code CLNS. You'll get $50 instantly when you play your first $5 lineup. Prize Picks, run your game. So, who's actually interested in buying the Boston Celtics? Well, we only have one confirmed interest. In buying this, and of course, it's going to be PAG. It's going to be Steve, who's obviously already a co-owner of the Boston Celtics. He makes the most sense to me because he works hand-in-hand -hand with Wick. So once again, I personally view Wick as a type of owner that he's not going to sell his shares to a guy he wouldn't want at his dinner table, which should be great for Boston Celtics fans because there are owners out there that are like, <clears throat> Dan Snyder, here's a fat check. I'm out of here. I'm going to Cancun. I don't see that as Wick. So hopefully, if he gets somebody that he is possibly close with, then it could be a good sales tactic. So you're probably sitting here being like, well, you know, I don't, I don't know, Steve. Let me go ahead and break it down for you. He's the co-owner of the Boston Celtics already. So he's been through the ins and outs. He serves as a member of on the Board of Governors and Competition Committee for the NBA. So people in the NBA know him. I'm sure that Adam Silver has heard of Steve before. So he's already in the realm of the people you should know. Because you and I know, when I'm applying for a job, if I know somebody inside, it makes the job hunt a lot easier. And the thing that makes me cry every time that I read it is net worth of $3.8 billion. I mean, you just look at that and we're like, what are we talking about here? I can't even imagine that much money. But we do know the Boston Celtics right now are trying to be the highest selling franchise in history, which we know the, the Washington Commanders were the most recent ones selling for about $6 billion. So there are rumors that Steve, knowing Wick, would want to get like a little like friend and family discount there on the franchise. So we'll have to wait and see if that ends up happening. But there are still some other contenders that have been rumored to be interested in being the next owner of the Boston Celtics. That does bring me to Mr. Amazon himself. Jeff Bezos. I know I made a video about this back in September about Bezos possibly wanting to own the Boston Celtics, but there has been some lingering rumors out there that Jeff Bezos does want to be the owner of a sports franchise, but he doesn't know if he wants it to be the Boston Celtics or maybe create a franchise of his own, like possibly starting something in Vegas or whatnot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about who Jeff Bezos is. He's the founder and executive chairman of Amazon. I'm sure you and myself have given him plenty of money in our time using Amazon. He's the founder of Blue Origin and owner of the Washington Post. So, you know, he's got a buttload of money. Actually, he's the second richest man in the world at 200 in 16.5 billion, which makes Steve's 3.9 billion look like $5. Once again, I feel more and more broke every time I read what these guys actually do for a living. But 
That's okay. So Jeff Bezos is now to be rumored to want to join the Boston Celtics, but once again, we don't know if the Celtics are the franchise he wants to own. So that brings me to our last one, Robert Hale. You guys may have heard of Robert Hale as your time being a fan of the Boston Celtics because he is also a part owner of the Celtics as well. So let's go ahead and break down who Robert Hale is. And this does seem like, so, uh, on paper, a guy that I personally wouldn't mind having as the next owner, knowing that he is the founder, CEO of Wholesale Telecommunications Provider Granite Tele Telecommunications. He owns a minority stake in the Boston Celtics, so kind of up there with Steve, just knowing that he knows the ins and the outs. He already knows Wick. He possibly could know what's going on with the salaries already, kind of getting a foot in the door. And he's got a net worth of almost $6 billion, which is about what the Boston Celtics would be selling for here via Forbes. So now you've got two guys that are in here right now that do know Wick personally as they do have some sort of interest in the Boston Celtics as a team right now. And then you've got Jeff Bezos, who honestly just has more money than God, so he's probably like, you know what, let's own a team. That might be fun. But in all seriousness, he does want to own a team. So I don't know if it will be Boston. Uh, obviously, he would have enough money to pay for the entire Celtics salary and more. But you do look at guys like Steve and Robert, and you're like, you know what? They, they've had a, a say in the Celtics for quite some time now. So it will come down in the next couple of months to who is going to be the next buyer for the Boston Celtics and whether or not Steve can work out a deal with Wick or, or what's going to happen there. But overall, nothing, I don't think anything's going to happen within this next, like within the next month and a half. I think when things are going to start to unravel will probably be somewhere in that January to April area, but you also don't want to be a distraction for the Boston Celtics trying to run back to back. So it's a pretty sticky financial situation. So my last question for you guys here is who do you want to own the Boston Celtics? I know you guys have a big say being the fans, so who would you like to see take over Wick in the next three years? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys have not already, it would mean the world to me if you guys could hit that sub button. It does go a long way. Join 41,000 of us here on Celtics today and subscribe. And as always, go Boston Celtics.